Hi, my name is Mary Barbie, and I am a team member of the Wheels and Wings team. I will be discussing implementing iReady for Stanley County Schools District. Stanley County Schools are located in a rural area with 8,445 students in 22 different schools. Of those students, 81% are Caucasian, 11% African American, 4% Hispanic Latino, and 2% Asian. 17% of the families are below the poverty level, and there are 1,569 students currently with IEPs. Currently, the ELA proficiency is at 54%. iReady is an online reading program that personalizes instruction, provides motivation, and provides scaffold support for students. Through the use of learning games, tools, and a teacher's toolbox, students improve their academic skills while also building confidence in their abilities. The reason the district should integrate this program is related to the availability of highly engaging material and individualized data teachers can use to drive instruction. This program addresses the AECT Standard 1 focused on content knowledge. The district goal is to improve both reading and math achievement scores. This program will be implemented by creating a plan that includes a budget plan, technology assessment, and training to use the program. The timeline plan involves getting administrators on board first with the program, next a small group of teachers from each school will train on the program and then train their departments. Lastly, other stakeholders will be educated on the merits of the program. Teachers will be trained on the program and how to use it most effectively. They will learn to take the data gained from the program and implement this into their instruction to best meet the individual needs of all students. It is necessary to have an assessment of technology available to students to best utilize the program. There should be a one-to-one -one ratio and process for loaning out equipment while students are learning remotely. The TAM2 model can provide insight into whether or not a new technology will be embraced. The model suggests that with voluntariness, experience, subjective norm, image, job relevance, output quality, and the demonstration of results, the new technology will be accepted. Implementing iReady can work through using the TAM2 model. Since the district wants to increase reading and math scores, the amount of data provided to educators from the use of iReady will provide usefulness of the technology. The plan involves using a field test group that volunteers to participate in the iReady to address voluntariness. The experiences of the field group will be shared to address experience and also used to affect the subject norm. The subject norm will be that teachers care most about the students who are using the program and by hearing experiences from the group, it will help them to see the benefits it would provide for more students. The image would be in how the school's social standing would improve by increased test scores and increasing social response from parents and guardians of students within the district. The job relevance would be demonstrated in a demo of the program and all that it offers. The results demonstrability would be shown through the diagnostic test of the field group. When the teachers and all stakeholders understand the data and tools through this TAMS2 model, there is an increased likelihood of an adoption of iReady by the district. The county office department chairs would receive information about iReady and share this out with administration of each school. The administration will share with staff and educate the students and then share with the parents. iReady will be training presented by the county office department chairs to the department leads for the instruction of the program. Later, the classroom teachers will attend iReady training school-wide. All students in grades 3 through 12 in Stanley County Schools are on a one-to-one -one device initiative. Grades K2 are on a 1 to 10 device to student ratio. 100 hotspots are provided by the state for the district to assist with students who have no internet access. The district will purchase a site license versus the individual schools purchasing separately. A hugely important part of the process is the evaluation step. To determine the effectiveness of this program, we rely on Kirkpatrick's model of learning evaluation. With this theory, the following four components would be analyzed reaction, learning, behavior, and results. In our scenario, we evaluate the reaction from students and educators through the use of surveys created in Google Forms, the learning data from the diagnostic test, behavior of both students and educators by using a reading and math behavior observation checklist, and the difference in achievement scores after the implementation of iReady. To conclude, we think this implementation will be a success by including management of people, processes, physical infrastructures, and financial resources through the TAM2 model. Below are the references we use for this project. Thank you for listening.